In this instruction video, we will demonstrate how to create folders and subfolders using a template. In this example, we create 12 folders and each folder contains three subfolders, readers, handouts and assignments. Uh, we don't use a counter or a date sequence, we just create the folders and the subfolders. Click on create folders and now you will see that in a Jiffy 12 folders are created and each folder contains the three subfolders. The next example will be called Family Album and it will create three folders Family Album 2012 till Family Album 2014 and each folder will contain a list of subfolders uh, birthdays and holidays. When we click on create we also check mark add to the manager. After the folders have been created you can use them in the copy and move operations and we'll show this in a minute. You can click on copy or on move and there you will see all the subfolders and folders that have been created and of course we will able to use them. Here you will see some pictures and now they are grouped on label you will see there are nine pictures in 2012 made in Cuba and eight pictures in 2014 made on Sicily. Well we can select the pictures first the pictures made in Cuba now you copy them to the family album holidays in the summer and we go to this album and to summer, you notice that they are created as planned. Now we are in the directory, you see the pictures and you press control key and use your mouse wheel and then you will see that the pictures will be enlarged and you will recognize they are the same pictures as on the right panel. We do another one, we select the pictures in Sicily, we we'll use the copy function and we copy them to the summer holidays in the year 2014. We go to holidays, summer, and here you will see the pictures taken in Sicily. Well, this is of course a very handy tool to organize your pictures. You can make a lot of different folders, of course. We just added uh, from 2012 and 14, but you can make as many as you want. And because they are, when they, uh, they are saved in the database, so you can use them over and over again or add some folders and subfolders as you like. In this next example, we will create a couple of log folders and some subfolders about the novel server, the Citrix server, the website of Martisoft and the website of Recovery Channel. And we'll use a certain date range from the 1st of May till the, 30, uh, the 31st of May. And we use this format to create a year, a month and a day counter. And we make use of the long nay names of the mask DDD. We select the work weekdays. You can select one or all just as you like and when we create folders now all the files are created all the folders and from the 1st of May till the end of May and you will see the days of the week they are in Dutch and they will be automatically uh, translated to your own language depending on your version of Windows of course and when you click on the folders you see every folder contains the four subfolders. In this next example we will organize our office documents. The root folder will be called office documents and the subfolders will be called Word, Excel and PowerPoint. We have selected dates and the week number. When we create the folders, office documents folders are created from week 22 till week 26 and we click for instance on this folder you see here Excel, PowerPoint and Word and then the last one of course also Excel, PowerPoint and Word. Again very powerful to organize your office documents in this example. So now all the folders are being created and because we check marked add to the manager you can use copy and move to organize your files, your select your documents in your folder or on the server, uh, select the files and just click on, for instance, uh, Office Documents uh, in week 23 and copy them to the PowerPoint or to the Word or to Excel. And in this last example, we will create sessions, therapy sessions, 
in this case uh, we will use the counter from session 1 to 8 and we use the subfolders progress note assignment and test results click on create and here you see the eight folders being created and when you click you see that every folder contains assignment progress note and test results